हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द सेकंड चैप्टर प्रोफेशनल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज ऑफ कम्युनिटी फार्मासिस्ट दिस चैप्टर बिगिन्स विद द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ स्टडिंग दिस चैप्टर दिस चैप्टर डील्स विद द इंट्रोडक्शन फॉलोड बाय डेफिनेशन प्रोफेशनल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज ऑफ कम्युनिटी फार्मासिस्ट इंट्रोडक्शन टू द कंसेप्ट ऑफ गुड फार्मासी प्रैक्टिस एंड स्टैंडर्ड ऑपरेटिंग प्रैक्टिस द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ स्टडिंग दिस चैप्टर आर टू अंडरस्टैंड द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज ऑफ कम्युनिटी फार्मासिस्ट towards patient health care to understand the concept of good pharmacy practice and to learn about the importance of good pharmacy practice for better health care and to contribute to nation building community pharmacy with the extended opening hours and no appointment needed for advice is more accessible to patients than any other health care setting an enormous number of people visit community pharmacist every day This gives community pharmacies access to a range of individuals in both good and poor health for their medication and advice about their health. Community pharmacies perform a mix of the task and shoulders various professional responsibilities while on the job. Some of the main responsibility of community pharmacies include dispensing prescription, communicating with the prescriber, patient counseling, general health and safety of patients. educating health providers expertise in pharmaceutical care documentation and publication staff management administrative tasks and dealing with the insurance companies etc all practicing community pharmacists are obliged to make sure that the services they provide to the patients are of appropriate quality good pharmacy practices is a means of clarifying and meeting the that obligation this chapter describes the underlying philosophy who recommendations requirements and standards in good pharmacy practice it describes standards for premises dispensing containers labeling instruction to patients records health information pharmaceutical care self medication etc a common strategy in community pharmacy setting to improve patient safety is the standardization of healthcare practice by developing and implementing standardized procedures in principle procedure assured by holding the healthcare staff to a minimum standard of practice and controlling aspects of their work that probably generate patient safety hazards this chapter describes standard operating procedures sops which are the written protocols and procedure in place within a pharmacy it describes the history requirements and preparation of sops a sop for a good dispensing practice is also presented in this chapter at the end of this chapter list of short medium and long answer questions are given to self assess the understanding by the students thank you